Every year, thousands of Latino women and children will attempt to cross the U.S.-Mexican border in the pursuit of happiness. Nine of ten will be sexually exploited. We are filmmakers commissioned to Latin America to research for a feature film on sex trafficking. We don't have the whole story yet, but we're out to find it. Right here in Mexico City. We are crossing Guatemala now. Right now, we are here in El Salvador. We finally reached Nicaragua. Welcome to Honduras. Hey, what the hell is Cecilia? Elsa. Claudia. Claudia. Uh -huh. is Claudia. 20. We're seeing prostitution everywhere. You don't even have to look for it anymore. We actually have now something to lose if we don't succeed. We're only doing this to make a movie, right? We're dealing with such a, a dark, evil force. This is the devil in his, in his darkest place. And we're inside it. And we're trying to get these girls out. It's really exhausting. This is the hardest thing ever. It's a real adventure. I'm just trying to be positive. But if we do this, we're going to be able to do anything. Really, it's just to have the church, a body, start speaking out, start getting educated, start understanding abuse. Christ is the center. His gospel is the first, the last, the essence of salvation, even from the brothels. Sometimes it just depresses me to sit out here like this today. Now there's things to do and people to see and things to do. I just wish we could go back in time and not have to worry about money or taxes or <coughs> girls. Oh, I see. How is that shop girl treating you these days, Tabitha? Have you said anything to her yet? Tabitha? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I said a lot to her. Can I help you? Hey, are you gonna pay for that? I didn't pay for it? No. <laughs> Andy, I don't know if I can take you seriously about anything anymore. Why not? Oh. I am serious. You're never serious. I am too. Whatever, Heather. I gotta go. Andy, come on. Hey, it's me. I... I was just calling to say that I'm sorry. That I was kidding when I said you weren't serious about anything. It's not true. And I just wanted to say that you can do anything if you wanted enough. I have faith in you. Anyway, maybe I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, and about this Tabitha girl. I think she'd be stupid not to like you once she actually got to know you. Um... Yeah, that's about it. Okay, bye. I can help the next person.
We're gonna go through the ghetto of ghettos and up and down hills in this just dirty mountainous area. And so right now there's just this flat piece of area that they have ready for us because they ripped it down so that we could build their house for them. So if we don't finish, um, then they're not gonna have a home to live in. We're building their house start to finish for these people and that's, that's our goal. kids are awesome. You did a nice job. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to build four walls. They're very simple. And they're already cut. They're already laid out. And I'll show you how to start nailing them. And I hope we can nail them straight. Okay. Yeah, they went for those. Okay. Um, we need one, two, three, five more. Even though I couldn't speak their language, you know, I just got a, a couple words down and, and you know, we just, we really bonded and especially with Victor, he's, he's, he was a really nice kid and I ended up giving him my hat and, you know, I, hopefully he cherishes it. I signed it and I, I said, uh, I love you and good luck. It was such a eye-opening experience, I guess, because they needed this house more than you can imagine. And to see it on their faces and to hear them say how much they needed it and how grateful they were was awesome. It wasn't something that I don't think any of us were expecting coming down into it. We made a big impact on them by giving them a house, but they made a huge impact on us too. <laughs>